explore the magic of Color Bazaar, an adventure in color transformation. In this process, you'll learn how to take a simple glass object and create this beautiful treasure right before your eyes. The tiny mica flakes in the pigments create this beautiful metallic shimmer. The pigments are completely non-toxic and safe and they are color fast so they won't fade over time. So we're going to start this fun project and I'm going to show two different variations of how to create this glass object. And the first is with blended pigment and you'll notice the color is, is a little bit more mixed and the second um, is with more of a design and with two different colors. So to start this you're going to choose a glass object and take out the little hook that's there. And I'm going to take the sparkle fuse and pour that inside the ornament. And you want to coat the entire inside of the ornament. So what I like to do is spin it while I'm working and get enough in there so that you can move it around and cover the entire surface. I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes and drain the excess out into a little cup. And then you're going to choose your pigment and I've got some here already laid out in a little palette and you can use as many colors as you'd like. Put a little bit of the pigment inside the palette and you'll be ready to create. Now with the second one, I'm going to actually take this one and remove the hook again. With this technique, I'm going to pour the adhesive in in four different lines. I'm trying to make it a little bit separate. So you can see there are lines of the adhesive inside there. And I'm going to take the little scoop and a little bit of pigment and scoop it right into the little hole in the object. I'm looking inside to make sure that the pigment is adhering to the adhesive, the sparkle fuse that I put in there before. So this is a really kind of random process and you can get some really fun designs. It's definitely something that is very spontaneous and there's a little bit of control but it's kind of, it's kind of fun. You kind of get all kinds of different mixtures of color when you get the pigment in there. So I'm just using one for this dry for a little bit and come back and add more color. Um, so now we're going to take and create the blended design on this glass piece. And I'm going to take another little plastic scoop and pour the pigment right into the hole at the top there. And this time I'm going to mix a couple of different colors. So I'm taking a little bit of the fuchsia and putting that in here also. And then another one. So I've got three different colors. And remember when you're adding pigment in here, the colors are going to blend. So keep that in mind. I would suggest working with maybe two or three to start with and you can always add in another color later. And then you're going to take your pigment and kind of just shake it around so that it sticks to the sparkle fuse that's inside. And so I did a little bit and then I'll add a little bit more in and until the inside is completely coated with the pigment. A little bit more. I think I'm almost there. So I think I really like the way it's come out. I'm going to take this and let it dry for, uh, it'll be completely dry in about 24 hours and you can also put the cap back in once you're finished. So I'm going to let this sit here while I finish up 
my other glass piece. And now I'm gonna put in another color, the second color. So I'm scooping in a little bit of the onyx color. And I'm trying to get it in between some of those lines that I made earlier. And like the last one, you're gonna keep moving it until you like how it's coated. I'm gonna add a little bit more red. I'm gonna let this dry and put it into the plastic cup there. Once it's finished, again, I'm gonna add the, the cap back on and put that in once it's dry. One of my favorite things to do once the objects have dried is to embellish, and there's so many different ways that you can do this. I've added sequins and some really embellished ribbon on top of this one here. This has dimensional foil and self-adhesive crystals on the side, and this would make a perfect Valentine's gift. And some of my other favorites, to add a little bling to your object, is to embellish with different crystals and doodads and sequins right on the top. And these were adhered with liquid fusion. These would make great gifts for special occasions. Bridal showers, baby showers, or a special gift for someone you love. Have fun creating with Color Bazaar and visit ilovetocreate.com for projects and information.